Hey guys, Ben here with Funnel Pro Academy. Today we're going to talk real quick about how to set up your very first share funnel. Alright, so what you'll do is, if it's not already expanded, just click on that so you can see all your share funnels. A lot of these ClickFunnels accounts come with multiple uh, share funnels just to get you started. So today we're going to set up your email opt-in funnel. The other way to get share funnels is if someone shares one with you, hence the name share funnel. So maybe I created a really awesome one like this email opt-in and I share it with you directly. So when you first open it, you can see the two steps of the funnel right here. You can see the stats of the funnel right here. And what we're gonna do very first is go in here and edit the funnel to make it our own. So you can see the two buttons, either edit in version one or edit in version two. If you don't have the edit in version two, all you have to do is click on the chat button and contact support. Say, yo, I'd love to try out the new editor. Uh, I like it just because you can edit it in the mobile or you can yeah you can edit it in mobile version makes it a little bit easier <clears throat> right here you can see what your funnel looks like uh, on a cell phone if you really want to know what it looks like though the best way is to click preview copy this URL here of the preview link and then just send yourself a message on Facebook so you can open it on your actual cell phone that's going to be the most tried and true way to see what your funnel looks like on a cell phone. But anyways, let's get right to it. Step one of getting this funnel up and running is just to swap out the text with your own. So because ClickFunnels is awesome, all you have to do is click on there and you can type in whatever words you want to make it your own. So just go ahead and swap all the text and images out with your own. Everything else is already set up, like right here. Uh, ClickFunnels knows this is a name, it knows this is an email, and it knows this is a button to submit the page. So that's all set up properly. Step number two is to go here to settings, SEO meta, and make sure to set the title. I usually use the headline as the title, but obviously you can do whatever you want, and then description. And then make sure and set your keywords so that way it uh, helps with your S search engine optimization. Make sure your name's there as the author instead of your name. And then right here, just make sure you set up your social image. And here's going to show a nice little preview of what's going to look like. Step number three is going to be right here under general settings. Uh, make sure, I usually prefer to hide the affiliate badge. Um, if you show it, all you're going to see is just a little ClickFunnels badge down here. So people know it was made with ClickFunnels and it's basically your affiliate link. I usually prefer to hide it if, I'm, if I want them to focus on what I'm um, offering them, obviously. Uh, over here, you obviously want to show it in the search engines. And right here would be if you want to attach a digital asset to this. But, and then right here is kind of neat. If, if you're a, promoting an affiliate, product and you don't want to go to step two of the funnel but you want to go to the affiliate page this is where you would put the link to the affiliate page so once we made our changes go ahead and click on save and exit now we're going to go to step two same thing go ahead and click on edit page Once it opens up, go ahead and put your logo there instead of using this placeholder. The way you put your logo there is just click on the image, click to upload, upload your logo and add image. Then you'll have your logo. Right here on the click to download, all you have to do is upload whatever cheat sheet, report, or ebook, whatever you're offering the customer, upload it to Dropbox or somewhere else, or you can upload it to ClickFunnels. And then under set action, go to website URL and just type in the link for whatever it is you're offering them. All right. If you upload to Dropbox, you can Google how to do that. Same with the other things. If you wanted to upload it to ClickFunnels, I'll show you how to do that real quick since we're done setting up the funnel. That's right. Here, Halton, you set up your very first funnel. 
but just in case you wanted to use ClickFunnels, all you have to do is go here to Account, Digital Assets. Pretty awesome. And right here, Add New Asset. Name. Awesome Report. If I can spell. <laughs> Upload your file. Max is 3 megabytes. Upload <clears throat> from email message create digital asset and you're done so optional extras here if you want to get fancy go to this email opt-in there's two things you could do to make this opt-in really custom and really shine and number one would be setting up your custom domain and number two would be setting up your email automations um, the way you'll do those uh, I wanted to code those last and I want to make sure you know that those are optional extras just because right now, as it is, if you did those steps, the funnel is up and running and live. And you can send people to this link. Just copy that, open a new private window, and you'll see the funnel is actually live and up and running and works just fine. But, as I mentioned, if you want to get fancy, the way you'll set up your custom domain and email automations, instead of me taking an hour to explain it here, you'll go to Help and Docs. And just type in, if you use Aweber, type in Aweber. Integrating with Aweber. If you use MailChimp, MailChimp, there you go. And so they basically walk you through step by step how to integrate it with your autoresponder, whatever you're using. Um, no matter which autoresponder you're using. And if you can't find yours on the list, just contact them here at support and they will get you taken care of. The second optional extra is the custom domain. So same thing. Just type in your domain name, how to add a domain right there. We'll type in add domain. There you go. So you, it'll walk you through step by step how to set up your custom domain. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Again, my name is Ben with Funnel Pro Academy. Thanks, guys.